guys, I'm Jill. And I'm Zach. Um, and today we want to talk to you a little bit about the new ticketing system that they've implemented at Glacier National Park. Um, we have been living here in Kalispell for the past year. Um, and this is the first year that they're implementing the ticketing system. I know there's a lot of questions about it. Um, we had a few questions about it ourselves. Yeah. And, um, you know, we were new last year too, before, before all this was implemented. So it's kind of a new and a learning experience for us as well. Yeah. So if you're planning a trip to Glacier, um, or maybe you're up here in Glacier now, um, we're hoping to answer some of your questions about the ticketing system and give you some options and ideas for things to do in the park, um, or maybe even if outside of the park, if you aren't able to get a yeah. ticket. So, um, they, I believe they started it Memorial Day, yeah. uh, Memorial, Memorial Day weekend. weekend, they implemented this new system, um, and it will run through September 6th. So from now, between September 6th, if you go to Glacier National Park, you are going to need a, um, a pass to get into the park. So like a national park a pass, pass or a day pass. Yeah. Um, but that alone won't do it. You now also need an entry ticket. Um, so you're going to need both of those. And they say the entry tickets are free, but really they're $2 yeah. uh, for the processing fee. Um, and you can reserve those online. How All that can be reserved online. The park pass you can actually buy at the park. Um, but do you know you need a park pass to buy an entry ticket? No. No. So you could buy the entry ticket beforehand and then buy the park pass at the park if needed. Yeah. Um, the problem is um, there's only so many entry tickets. And so I know yeah. a lot of them are already sold out and they sell out so quickly. Um, if there are not any tickets for the date that um, you are looking to go to Glacier, they do also release some tickets two days prior to the date. So, yeah. um, But you need to be like, as soon as they release it, booking the ticket because they go so fast. They're, yeah, like, they're almost impossible to get. They're pretty hard to, to come by. But yeah. Um, yeah, so you reserve them online. Um, your ticket is valid for seven days. So if you're coming to Glacier and you're going to be... <laughs> There's a dog. <laughs> There's lady. She's playing. Um, if you're coming to Glacier and you're going to be here for multiple days, uh, you're... A, just remember that your ticket is valid for seven days. So if you're going to be here for a week, you only need one entry ticket and that'll be valid um, for the full week. Now, if you are going to be here for maybe a couple weeks or a couple months, um, you are going to need to get more entry tickets. Let's see. Um, so the reason they're doing this ticketing system, I guess, is to try to manage the crowds um, in Glacier, which is interesting. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, it's interesting because last year, like in the height of COVID, everything was open. And even in Montana, everything's open. Like people don't really wear masks. Like everything's pretty much back to normal. So it's kind of interesting to me that they're implementing this ticketing system now. Sorry, lady, sweetheart. Stop. Um, so not sure why they're doing it, but they are. Um, and the reason, and so the ticket, what the ticket does is it gets you access to the going to the sun road. Um, if you have been planning your trip and you um, have searched Glacier National Park, that's probably the first thing that you're going to see and hear about is the going to the Sun Road. And it is gorgeous and beautiful and absolutely like the thing to do in Glacier. Which is not open yet. Yeah, it's not open right now because of snow. Yeah. You can only go up to a certain point, but I guess that's for another video. But, yeah. <laughs> um, but it is gorgeous. Um, and right now people are able to bike up and down it and we'll post a video um, about that soon. Um, I gotta <laughs> upload that. But anyway, so the ticket is for going to the Sun Road. So if you are trying to enter Glacier oh. National Park at the West Glacier entrance or the St. Mary's entrance, you're gonna need a ticket. And keep in mind a lot, um, we spoke to a couple the other day who they didn't realize that the going to the Sun Road was basically the only road that ran through the yeah, park. It connects Apgar to St. Mary or those those two sides of the park. Together, yeah, so connected to that road. I mean, you can always go south, but it's a lot further. But it's the only yeah. road that really goes uh, west to east, east to west through the park. And um, it is gorgeous. You know, once it opens, you know, go do it. But yeah. that's what the ticket is for. Now, there are other parts of the um, of Glacier National Park that you can get to if you don't have a ticket. Yeah. Um, those areas are... There's a little town called Polebridge, um, and it leads you down this, like, really bumpy dirt it's road. It's a dirt road. It's paved most of the way, and then it turns to gravel. Um, it's pretty bumpy, but the speed limits, think, are, like, 35 to 45. Um, it's not insane. It's not like you need you have to have four-wheel drive or something like that. It's not yeah, it's like just that. a bumpy curvy road. But it's road. just gravel, bumpy, and yeah. Yeah, and that leads to Bowman Lake, which is 
personally one of my favorite lakes. Yeah, it's really, um, really beautiful it's beautiful. There. There's lots of hikes. We went kayaking there the other day with our own kayak. It's really, it's really a great place to go. And that's yeah. one place you'll see people say, oh, you don't need a ticket to go to Pole Bridge. However, keep in mind, we didn't realize this. We went no. there the other day to go kayaking and it was so congested because people couldn't get tickets to get into going to the Sun Road. So everyone went up to Pole Bridge, it felt like. Yeah. Um, and they were turning people away because they were trying to control the congestion. Yeah, turning people away prior to the actual gate to yeah. that part of the park. Um, and so it was like, you what, could, 12 or 1 p.m.? Yeah, it was so, in the afternoon yeah. and you can get into Pole Bridge of the town. Um, that's fine. But then a little bit past Pole Bridge is the entrance to the actual yeah. um, park. Um, and that's where they were turning people away. And so it was kind of frustrating, um, to go up that far. because it was, a, it's a long way. It's a long way up to Pole Bridge. Yeah. Um, from the entrance to the park, it's probably at least an hour. Would you say an hour from the entrance, the entrance. to the park? Yeah. The problem yeah. is you can't go through the entrance unless you have an entry ticket. So you have to go at this back way. Anyways, it's a long way and you, you don't want to get turned away at, you know, once you get there. Yeah. So go committed. early. Um, we actually, because we live in the area, we didn't have anything to do, so we just kind of stayed. And then once it calmed down a little bit, um, we kept, <laughs> sorry guys, we, um, once it calmed down, we just waited and then eventually got in. Um, but there was a while where they were turning people away, so keep yeah. that in mind. Um, other areas you can get into without a, um, without a ticket, entry ticket. Again, you're still going to need a park pass to get in, but that special entry ticket, um, you don't need it for Pole Bridge. Um, you do not need it for Mini Glacier and Two Medicine. Mini yeah. Glacier and Two Medicine are on the east side of the park. So if you're gonna want to, if you want to go there, you're gonna have to go take the road that goes south of the park um, all the way around to it. Which even if you had a ticket, you couldn't do going to the Sun Road right now because it's blocked um, off with the snow, which but, they're still working through it. But and, I imagine the next couple of weeks to month. Yeah, um, we're making this out. video um, June June first, June um, yeah. and usually the going to the Sun Road um, opens to cars end of June, beginning of yeah. July. It depends on how much snow. they were hoping to open it sooner this year, but it kind of we got another snowfall and it kind of yeah. There's been some avalanches yeah. and stuff. So one of the things I wanted to notice with the or note with the tickets um, when you're going into um, East Glacier um, to Apgar Village and going to that ranger station, they actually are checking to make sure that you have your ticket prior to going in the entrance. So there's a line of traffic from what I've heard with locals um, back to the interstate or the highway, which is highway two there. Um, so earlier the better for sure. Um, even if you have a ticket because there are people that are showing up without tickets and delaying it. And there's only apparently like two Rangers or so checking to make sure you have the ticket. Once you get approved from them, then you move up to the actual gate. Um, where they make sure you have a park pass and then yeah. you're good to go from there. So it's a whole so process. It's a, yeah, it's kind of involved and, and kind of lengthy. Um, so definitely earlier the better. Yeah. Um, now, um, sure. there are ways around yeah. it. Um, if you do not have a park, um, not a park pass, an entry ticket. ticket. Yeah. If you do not have an entry ticket to get in and maybe you've already booked this big fun vacation and you want to be able to get into the park, there are ways around it where you do not need a ticket. So um, the first... Um, like three. Way yeah, there's it. quite a few. So um, the first way that you don't need an entry ticket is if, if you have lodging inside of the park. Um, so that's camping or I think there's a couple of like hotel kind of things um, on the lake. Um, or if you have a tour like a bus tour or uh, maybe you have a ticket for the shuttle or you're renting a bike rental. A bike rental. rental. There's numerous. Things. If you have any like reservations like that inside of the park, that counts as your entry ticket. So we were talking the other day and you know, if you, I mean, if I traveled, a kayak. yeah, if I traveled <laughs> all the way up to Glacier National Park and like this was my big vacation and I didn't have an entry ticket yeah. and I was going to find a way, you know, you really could rent um, like a cheap bike or yeah. a kayak. So for 30 bucks for a day. So that's Is it only 30 for the kayak? For, um, for a cheap bike. There's oh, some, there are some bikes that are Okay. So look so, at Glacier but... Outfitters, see what rentals they <laughs> have. And that's your entry ticket. Um, and even if you don't use it, so what? You got your entry ticket, so right? So I'd say that's option number one is renting something. Yeah, option number one is renting something. Um, Two would and be... Well, well, before we, excuse me, before we <laughs> move on, I don't know, like, say you have a family of five or f six. True. I don't know if you would have to have six bike rentals or six... Yeah, we haven't confirmed that. I wouldn't imagine so, but I mean, uh, you could, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure, but, but I mean, it's an option. 
Uh, second option is, is to get up early. Yeah. Or go in late. You get up really early. I think it, they get there what six, six, right? So as long as it's before six, which I would get there even before then because there's still gonna be a line of traffic. Last thing you want to do is get caught in that line of traffic get up to the gate and they'd be like, where's your entry ticket? And you're like, I don't have one. The reason so. we say get up before six is because that's when the ranger stations open. So the yeah. park is open 24 hours a day. You can go whenever you want. Yeah. Um, but just get into the park before the ranger station opens at six and then you're already in. Now, if you leave, you can't go back in because the rangers are there yeah. unless you go back in after five. So go before 6 a.m. or after 5 p.m. And you'll be able to get in. Which thankfully it is lighter out here um, later now. It's yeah. light till about 9 o'clock and then it starts getting dark. Depending on where you're at and if it's, there's mountains around, obviously you can get darker sooner if the mountain's shading you. Yeah, I didn't um, realize that when we moved here is in the summers. Um, it's not quite like it was in Alaska, but um, the sun comes up super early and it stays open pretty late. Yeah. So, or stays up pretty late. Um, and third then option. third option is to drive around. Dra don't yeah, go under it, go around. we haven't officially <laughs> confirmed this, but um, we're pretty sure it yeah. might be a way. It, but I don't know. I, I don't, don't want to like say this still for sure work because it is kind of committing long a lot of driving. Way. Yeah. Um, but so, I have heard from people that this is an option. Um, again, we haven't personally tested this out. Though. So you're gonna take the back road up, like you're going to Pole Bridge, mm -hmm. and then before you even get to Pole Bridge, you're gonna see a road on the right. That's called the Camas Road, or it's C-A-M-A-S, Camas Road. Yeah. Well, that road leads you straight into the park, past the... From the north or east or... Uh, from... Northeast. It runs west to east. Yeah. I don't know. It's, so a, like, it's a Camas Road. It's like a... There a, is a stop sign there before you get into the park saying that you need an entry ticket, but there is no one, from what I've heard, there's no there's no um, ranger, ranger station, and there's no ranger there actually checking to see if you have a ticket. I don't know if it's, they're considering the honor system, or if it's like a back gate, or what, but... From what I've heard, that is an option um, yeah, so any time of the day, especially before 6 a.m. and after. But again, we don't, we can't confirm this. We can't 100%. confirm it, but if you're just so, super desperate, you know what, why not? Or maybe you're on your way back from Pole Bridge and you just want to try it and see. Worst case, they turn you around and you go yeah. back the way you were going to go anyways. But if you're coming um, from Kalispell going up that way to Glacier, it's an additional, like, what, hour and a half, two hours of driving. Well, Probably. It's a long way. It's and a it's, lot it's, further. I mean, it's beautiful. You follow the river, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it is dirt roads. Um, but just keep in mind, that is an option. Yep. So um, let's see what else we got. So um, uh, they are going to start doing a shuttle. Starting uh, today, June 1st. Well, but the road isn't open. I'm oh, sorry, reservations for it. Reservations start today for the shuttle. Um, you get a ticket to ride the Going to the Sun Road. Um, that will, I believe, count as your entry ticket. Um, yeah. and anybody over the age of two is going to need one. Um, so you may be thinking, okay, like, let's just, maybe you want to cut your losses and maybe, you know, you're, it's just not going to be doable to go to Glacier National Park your entire trip. Um, there are other things to do in the area, um, that I want to kind of chat about. Like if you're into hiking, if you're just into sightseeing, um, Maybe you like to try different restaurants. There's lot, lots to do. So if you're not able to get into Glacier, um, or maybe you are and you just want other recommendations, there's some like really great hikes and other things to yeah. do in the area. So um, I just want to briefly talk about that. Um, if you're into hiking, I want to tell you my top three favorite hikes. Um, you want to talk about the first one? Yeah. So first is Mount Aeneas. Um, Mount Aeneas is about, uh, I think it's six anywhere between five to 6,000 feet above sea level. Um, you drive up the first 3,000 feet. So that's kind of a nice little boost there. It is gravel road. Um, currently right now, the, the last like half a mile or so, or quarter mile is covered in snow, um, but you can drive up most of the way. It is a little treacherous, the road, um, not crazy bad. I wouldn't say you treacherous, it's a dirt road. You don't need four wheel drive or any of those things. Um, right now it might still have some snow, but we're supposed to get yeah. some hot temperatures. So maybe even by the time we post this video, it should be fine. And we'll be, uh -huh. we'll be hiking it. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's nice because you get up there, get you kind of higher up, so it already starts out at 3,000 feet. You hike up the next 1,500 to 2,000 maybe. Yeah, but it's, it's a really um, beautiful hike. But at the uh -huh. top, you're basically on top, and you have views, like 360 views. You have all the glacier on the north side and then the, the Flathead Valley yeah, on the it's, south. So it's pretty cool to see the, the diversity of the... Yeah, you know. it's my favorite hike. Yeah. Um, it's pretty awesome. For sure, it's gorgeous. So that's an option. Um, you also could do Strawberry Lake. It's 
very similar to Aeneas, but yeah. you hike up to a lake. It's the same mountain range. Mountain so, lake, yeah. Yeah, so look up Strawberry Lake. And then there's also Big Mountain. It's actually the ski mountain in Whitefish. Um, you can take the... Uh, the lift the, up. The ski lift up, but we just got stuck on it for 30 minutes yeah. the other day. So, so that, I would say that's probably the easiest one to do if you take the lift, obviously. But yeah. if the lift gets stuck, it can... Yeah. But, I think um, that's kind of a rare thing. But if but... you're into hiking, yeah. um, it's a really great hike. You can take the Danny On Trail. Yep. It was still kind of covered in snow when we went, so we took the Danny On Trail. And then we just went straight up the ski slope. It is a calf yeah. burner, but it's a great hike. Yeah. Um, if you're not really into hiking and you really just maybe want to do some sightseeing... There's the Hungry Horse Dam. Hungry Horse is not far from Glacier. Um, it's more, you know, towards town. But um, that's... if you're heading from Kalispell to Apgar or East Glacier, um, you actually pass through Hungry Horse, yeah. the town. Yeah. So. So it's right um, out of the way, kind of. Yeah. Just Google it. It's the Hungry Horse Reservoir. Yeah. Reservoir. Um, and there's a dam there, and it's really beautiful. Um, there's also Flathead Lake. It is south of Kalispell. It is a huge lake i'm sure you yeah. can do rentals there or i mean just go drive and see it it's really pretty mm -hmm. um whitefish um well there's like three towns near glacier um, three big towns there's columbia falls which there's not much to do there there's like a brewery there's kalispell and then there's whitefish um you can go to whitefish and walk around and go to kalispell yeah. i mean go to wherever um and then there's lone pine state park that is in kalispell um you know it's just an easy little drive up to the top um, and you get views of Kalispell. And you can either hike it or drive it. And driving up to the top gives you kind of a view of Flathead Valley and then even some yeah. of Glacier off in the distance. Yeah, and there's lots, I mean, there's lots of options. Um, restaurants, uh, there's lots of breweries. There's, um, I mean, you can Google it, but um, one of my favorites is Tamarack. It's actually, it's a little more south, but it's um, off Flathead Lake. Good food. Yeah, good, view, uh, good food. Um, and then, yeah, there's like four or five breweries and then there's, um, DeSoto Grill, which is really yummy. It's barbecue. Yeah. There's, um, what else? There's lots of food places. Yeah. A lot of the breweries have separate places that That's are pretty true. good too. So. Anyways, there's lots, there's yeah. lots to see, lots to do. So if you don't get an entry ticket, if you don't make it into Glacier National Park, um, or if you get here a day early and you can't get in for a day or two, there's things to do prior to going into Glacier. It's not like yeah. that's the only thing to do here. There are some other things that you can yeah. do that are um, worth your while. And then if, you know, if you are able to get a ticket and maybe going to the Sun Road is not open, get you a bike. Um, of course, e-bikes are kind of hard. You have to reserve okay. them a good bit in advance. Um, or just get your regular bike or bring your bike and bike the going to the sun road. Yeah. Um, again, we're going to post a video of that soon. We were able to go part of the way, but oh my, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. So, um, do what you can to get up there and get some of those views. Um, anything else about the ticketing system? No, that's pretty much it. I think good yeah. luck getting a ticket. Yeah. Get up early. Yeah. Stay late. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'd say get up early. Because yeah. the sun comes up so early here, like it's easy yeah. to just get on up and get out the door and, um, and plus, pack, pack you a lunch or they have some food. The other like thing it. to note too is even if you have an entry ticket, um, parking inside the park oh. is limited. So getting up early kind of gives you that benefit over everyone yeah. else where you can kind of pick and choose where you want to go for the day and park there and kind of have a choice yeah. of parking as opposed to fighting for a spot. Yeah, especially if you're going to hike. I'm glad you brought that up yeah. because parking can be a nightmare in the park. Yeah. Um, right now, the road is only open to Avalanche. Um, even if it's open further, I know Avalanche is a popular place for people to go hike. Yep. Um, parking is kind of a nightmare there. So Just to give you an idea, last season, before the entry ticket system, um, we spent, what, 30-ish minutes driving back and forth waiting for a spot to open before we could finally find a place to park to hike Avalanche. Yeah, so, um, uh, there's just not much parking. And then yeah. even the going to the Sun Road, if you're just driving it, like, that's fine. Sure. But if you're wanting to get out and hike, especially some of those more popular hikes like Hidden Lake, um, Avalanche, top, yeah, yeah um, you're going to want to get up and yep. get there early. And, I mean, you'll enjoy it because it won't be so crowded. But pack <laughs> snacks, pack your lunch. Yeah, um, something you need. Yeah. And it'll be a good time. Um, if you have any questions or if you have tried any of our tips and tricks that we have suggested, suggested <laughs> I hope they work, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Um, like and subscribe if you want to watch the video for no, the biking. We don't Check have videos. Top. We need to make videos. We don't have. It's over here. There's no videos up here. There's no <laughs> videos. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll make some more videos. Um, and let us know what you want to learn about, what you want to see. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys.
Ten bucks says this hasn't been recording the entire time. I bet it hasn't. <laughs>